my goodness, we've had the worst day today weather-wise. And it was strange, it's been so dark and then the, my windows started to glow. I've got my curtains closed and all of a sudden we've got this beautiful sunset sky with no sun, but obviously it must be glowing somewhere. And just before it gets dark, all of a sudden everything was going orange outside. <laughs> and I was shocked, I thought, what's going on? Isn't that extraordinary? Oh, and the lights just turned on, did you see that? It's just beautiful. I hope that's a good sign. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Let's hope tomorrow that means the weather is brightening up because it has been pretty awful for two days. Not that anything looks awful here. Look at this. Ah, be still my heat beating heart. Isn't that glorious? Buongiorno, buongiorno. I've just had such a lovely morning. So today it is, let me think. I'm getting my days mixed up. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Gosh, it's been raining so much and I've been inside that I kind of lose track of the days. And I've been so busy, but today I had the most enjoyable morning and it was so different. I never thought I'd do something like this in Kiani. So I was invited by some lovely women to a woman's morning tea, but where they do crafts to create things for charity. And do you know, it's an odd thing because I said to David, I'd really like to get back into my arts and crafts, which I haven't done for years. And I used to do lots of things when I lived in France. I would sew, I would knit, I would crochet, I would cross stitch, I would paint. <laughs> I love doing things like that. And they do things like that for charity, then to sell on and give back to the community. And I thought, oh, what a wonderful thing. So I've spent the morning learning new crafts. Uh, I actually learned a little bit about doing um uh, what do you call it patchwork today which I've always been intrigued by and anyway I came home with a beautiful gift um let me just show you sorry about the light oops so I've come home can you see that it's probably backwards actually so it's the Olio Nuovo 2023 made by the people down there. They've just finished their harvest last week and pressed it straight away. So they said, you must eat it like as soon as possible. Um, or she said I could take it home and put it in my suitcase, but I'm a bit worried about olive oil smashing in my bag. So I might have to eat it here on my own. But it is good for nine months. So I could also leave it, but it's better to taste it while it's fresh and new. And I know... David and mum wouldn't mind me doing that. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm so, I said to her, that's like a dream come true because I was hearing all about people doing um, new olive oil and pressing their olives. And I thought, oh gosh, I'd love to taste that. It looks so good. And then look what happens. So the universe must have heard me, must have heard me wishing for that. Anyway, so I get to try beautiful beau, new, freshly pressed organic olive oil from just down the road and when I pour it out I know it's going to be the most magnificent colour so I'll show you all but I've had the best morning ever. So I've been preparing Viva Sonia for my departure this week. I took down the lovely red and white striped curtain from the balcony and I've been putting my plants that can survive through winter on this side table and chairs will come inside of course lots to do but it's such a magnificent autumn afternoon it's very quiet because it's sort of middle of the afternoon on a Saturday so everyone's still inside shops are closed and I just thought oh I cannot not come out and have a little wander about really need to get some of this lovely autumn vitamin D and just continue to take in all the beautiful vistas of my darling Kiani before I leave. It's been a busy morning, got lots done, but uh, which way are we walking? Actually, let's go up. I think they've opened the street up here now, so let's see, there's still some workmen signs here but I think I can walk through. Love walking under this arch. <laughs> oh, I 
do think I might have to detour up here. There's an arrow pointing in the other direction. Let's have a look and see what they say. Pedone a destra. So yes, I'll have to come through this little walkway. That's okay. Past one of my favorite set of doors in the entire, the entire village of Chiani. It's one of my favorite set of doors. As Nick Ferrand would say, a great set of knockers. See the little acorns? And then these very unusual faces. And each door has the same. Just amazing. Ah, oh, how beautiful. Well, this isn't quite so beautiful, but work needs to be done. Villagers have to move on. And when you see the big work they're doing, it's all for the best. Better plumbing for the village. Always good that they're upgrading things. It's a good sign, isn't it? Oh, how I love this place. I really just need to take it in as much as I possibly can. Just feel it while I can. Because I'll be gone for a little while but it will feel like such a long time. I wish I had smell vision This just wafted up to me. I think at their orange blossom, I think this is what you call orange blossom. It's been cut in a shape, but gosh, it's beautiful. And I just love the little piazza here where Anna's pizzeria is. And I've always loved the patina on the side of her building with the bits of brick showing through the old plaster work, the little tiny balcony. It's just so sweet and it's so pretty when it's lit up at night. I just love how Rita's got all the little autumn flowers out the front, all the lovely cyclamens, some little pansies. She's still got her cacti there little bit of ivy but at the moment normally this is full of chrysanthemums there's only two left there but it's nearly tutti sante um all saints day so which in some countries it coincides with what they call halloween of course but here it's a religious holiday and it's all saints and all souls but they've also adopted as you can see some of them all kind if you feel like western things for the children little halloween faces and little pumpkins it's really quite sweet but they sell lots and lots of chrysanthemums chrysanthemum sorry because that is the flower that you take and put on the gravestones of your loved ones that are lost so the other day this was full and now there's not that many left but she'll be getting more in for sure because it's that time of the year Oh, what a beautiful afternoon. Isn't this glorious? And it's so still. We've had such high winds and rain. But now, just still and clear. These are the kind of autumn days that you want, aren't they? Just beautiful. such a beautiful part of the world. I love calling Kiani home. I really and truly do. And very soon those bells will be tolling for five. Good afternoon from Kiani. I'm just on the way down to visit a friend for afternoon tea, which I think might actually metamorphosize into aperitivo. <laughs> 
from what I've understood. But I've had a beautiful morning this morning. Um, I met a really lovely new friend. And buongiorno, buongiorno. Sto filmando. And um, met a lovely new friend. <laughs> That's lovely Leandra, who is the chef and owner of the bistro with one of the people that um, cooks with her that just walked by. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, we um, caught up with a new person here that would love to come and live in Kiani. Um, a lovely artist, a cinematographer, I think, really. And um, I just thought while I was here, I would share a little bit because, of course, a lot of you watch all of my different films and would know that within my films I'm now doing house tours and I haven't really explained that much but I just thought while I was here I would explain a little bit and just say that I've now found myself a really very very busy occupation which is wonderful because as you all know I came here for a job that never eventuated and really didn't know what to do with myself but I've just fallen into this totally by chance and good fortune and maybe just because it was meant to be. I do believe in things like that. I'm working with these beautiful stones here and these beautiful homes in Kiani, what a blessing. I've always loved architecture, so being involved in some way with helping people find beautiful homes for themselves is such a wonderful thing for me. So today that was once again, someone that had come to the village to look and I helped them go and look at a lovely little home. And I'm just loving it. I'm loving it so much. I really feel like I've kind of found my calling and a lot of people are saying, look, you're, you're really good at this, Marisa. <laughs> so there you go. That's what I'm up to and just loving it. And I suppose that's how I'll be moving forward. <laughs> so you'll probably see more and more of those kind of things show up on the channel. I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, off to my lovely friend now and um, my friend's place and it's Kathleen. Actually, you met Kathleen many 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 moons ago i think when i first arrived here in april might have been april or may kathleen is a lovely um lady from the united states who bought a house here in kiani because she found kiani via this channel she never contacted me but she ended up with a beautiful house here and we've become really lovely friends and very kind lovely lady and she's here in her own i think at the moment and has invited me down so I think there's going to be a lot of conversation had. I can feel myself getting thirsty by the minute. <laughs> so let's go. I'll see you later. Ciao. Oh dear. We're having a wild, wild night. Yikes. Oh my goodness me. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't know if you can see that the way the wind. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, this is really bad. Oh, did you see the lightning then? Hi. Oh, I've never actually seen a storm like this before here. It's really wild. Oh dear, there'll be trees down again tomorrow. more lightning. Buongiorno. Oh yes, we do have some blue sky after the most insane storm last night, which I filmed. This must be pretty lit up at night. Look at all those fairy lights. So this is Magazzini Mangini, and it's two massive buildings. Now I've talked to you about my shopping before, scusa. Um, but this is an amazing store. Now this one is the clothing, that one is the linens and homewares. And my lovely friend Kathleen has brought me here so I can have one little look around the shops before I leave Kiani. So I thought I'd bring you with me. So let's go. As soon as we come in, of course, it's all scarves, 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 and the cutest beanies you've ever seen. But I'm going back to Australia in summer, so that's really not appropriate, is it? <laughs> and then I just saw these great legging jeans which I've never had any of those before either, and they're really good prices, just so you can see the prices, 20% off. So, more scarves, but let's go and see what else they've got. Oh, 
lovely pyjamas. This is the men's department where I bought lots of lovely things with David last summer. So I'm going to look for something for him. And down that way, you've got amazing, huge women's department. So let's see what we can find. And now I'm in what I would call in Australia our dollar shop. Here they call them the Chinese shops. <laughs> obviously, obviously, for obvious reasons, that, that's often who is running it. Lots and lots and lots of Halloween at the moment because it, it's that week, isn't it? But this is where you come when you want to find literally anything. Literally anything. As you can see, it's just rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Now, I did need a new deodorant, but I'll just go down to the proper aisle where I know, because I need toothpaste and things, so you can get everything here. So, I normally buy the Italian um, Capitano, and I can't see if they've got the one, the colour I normally get. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't you know it? They've normally got everything. I might just get the this one. The baking soda one that's fine it's a nice natural one that one and oh i'll switch off while i'm searching because i'll just bore you all i'm sure it's lunchtime and i thought i would show you the beautiful olive oil that i was talking to you about the other day that i got given to me which is the olio nuovo this comes from a home just just here inside Kiani, literally down two minutes away, um, some beautiful people that are from Australia, would you believe, that have a beautiful olive grove and they gave me a bottle of their brand new, new pressed olive oil. Now, a lot of you probably don't know the difference. Oh, the smell is amazing. And I did try this the other day, but I wanted to show you the difference because I, this is the olive oil I buy at a store here, which is a very, very good quality local olive oil. It's beautiful. But just to show you the difference in color between a new and an old. So I'm going to pour some of this. And you, as you can see, and some of them are even darker. I'll use this in my salad after. That's the color of the new which as you can see is actually quite a green color. I'm hoping you can see that really well. That's a beautiful green color. It has a really different aroma to a, an older olive oil. And this is a, a, a beautiful olive oil, which is extra virgin, of course, and it's also from local in Tuscany. But I just wanted to show you the difference. So as you can see, as they it's subtle because this is a beautiful quality olive oil, all right? But as you can see, that is more golden. So I'm hoping you can see the difference in color in here in my house. And this is far more green. And they even become even darker, some of them, depending on the olives that people use. The aroma is really, really different. So what I'm going to do, obviously I don't want to waste this, and I'm just having some beautiful mozzarella rocket and local tomatoes that I got from someone. I'm just going to use that beautiful fresh olive oil, the other one I can use in cooking. This olive oil you don't use in cooking, or you try not to. It's so much better just to be used raw like this, if you like, over salads, on bread, with some lovely salt, just dipped like that. So I'll get my bread in. Sorry, I just licked my finger. I'll do that after. But I wanted to show you the difference and the complexity that the colors are really different, the flavor is very different, and that will only stay darker and stronger like that for a short amount of time, maybe a few months, depending now once it's opened. Um, it's always going to be usable. It's just that it's going to gradually lose its strength and go a lighter color. That's what happens with all oils. Mm -hmm. So this is freshly pressed. Some of them come out a really dark green. I've seen things that look like out of an oil color almost that you would put into a car engine. It's incredible, but it depends on the olives that are used. So there you go. Buon appetito. Well, I'm back home again. Um, I totally forgot 
to show you what I was shopping for because I got in there and you know what we women are like um put us in a clothing shop and especially seeing I don't get to them very often I haven't been probably to a clothing shop since some time back in July and it's now almost November well today is the 31st of October as you know and um my beautiful friend <laughs> took me out, as I said, to shopping. And you know what? My dad would be happy. This is the anniversary. This is an odd thing, I know, but it's the anniversary of my dad's passing. And it's also All Saints and All Souls Day today and tomorrow. And I loved my father so much, my beautiful papa. And he would be happy that I was out having a lovely day, but thinking of him so much. And I will go to the church this afternoon and light a candle for him. But in the meantime, I was cold and he would want me to be well-dressed. He was a well-dressed man. <laughs> and I was cold. I don't really have much warm clothing with me. So um, as I said, I was in that beautiful magazine, Imangini. And I've come home with two absolutely gorgeous sweaters. Oh, I'm probably not going to be able to show you these, but they're just lovely long cozy really fine but soft lovely quality sweaters um and they were 20 percent off so really high quality lovely and this is a really pretty color i like this color really soft blue which i think suits me same style i just got the same style they've just got a nice little sort of ridge down the front a little stitched ridge if you can see it's so fine but they're really lovely and soft and cosy, but nice and comfy for traveling. Seeing I'm going to be here just a few more days, but also in Rome and I've checked the temperatures and it's really cold in this next week. So I can't just go around with a cotton shirt on, obviously under a jacket. So I needed jumpers, um, but also I went into the homewares department just to show you. And I picked up two, um, I'll wrap them up really well to go in my suitcase. My mum loves Fabergé eggs. Mum, if you're watching this, close your eyes. Right now, close your eyes. Because <laughs> these are meant to be surprises for you. She loves Fabergé eggs, which I do too, actually. And these ones are the most pretty, prettily decorated. Christmas decorations and they actually open like a real Fabergé egg so I can pop like a chocolate or something in them and stick them on the tree and they came from Magazzini Mangini and it's written all in French or Italian uh, oh no they're Italian they're Italian made in Italy and they were reduced 50% down to $3.95 so that's great so there's two designs that I picked up that I'll wrap up really well and that's the other cute little one there. Gorgeous designs on that one as well. And they both open. Same price, $3.95. So, and then the last little thing, just a little thing, but I saw these and they're so sweet. These are, it says bonheur in French on it, which means happiness. But they're like a little gift card, but I love how they do this in Italy. I've seen that a lot from Florists as well. They have like a little peg and you just peg it to something. So I thought it was a sweet alternative to a little gift card because I can still write on the back and write the person's name, but I can stick that on the gift. And a packet of six of those, <laughs> one euro. So there you go, just to show you some of the awesome things that they have in there. They have beautiful clothing, wonderful homewares, wonderful linens, all sorts of things. I've bought so much there, but I just, Thought you might like to see what I brought home with me. Oh, well, it's a night in tonight. I was meant to go out, but my friend isn't well, so the bells are tolling. It's miserable outside. And it's one of my last nights here, so I thought my friends had bought me this lovely bottle of wine, Terra Blue. Marcampo, which is Podere Marcampo, which is a local wine. It's beautiful, really lovely. So cheers to one of my final nights in Chiani. Oh, that's just beautiful. 
Thank you, Neva Owen, for the lovely gift.